Now we have a scenario such as this, that on the eve of uh, forming a, a political party, two of uh, the, the leaders of that corporate party, uh, they disappear. And, uh, you know, by force, you know, through the use of force. And this is a very, very disturbing sign. And uh, it uh, means, and it also is like a culmination of uh, the series of abductions that have been going on uh, for a very long time uh, during the war and also, importantly, since the closure, uh, the, the conclusion to the war. And I do not know why, I mean, why uh, people, you know, concerned people, university teachers, uh, other kind of uh, thinkers, people who kind of um, deal in the realm of uh, thinking and act, writing, acting, uh, acting, uh, theater, film. I mean, like, you know, where are these people who kind of can give a voice to the to the to the problems of this kind of uh, democratic violation of democratic dissent, expression, freedom of expression, all of that. And I think this these abductions, these abductions, these two of these people, uh, is a is a very very disturbing culmination uh, of uh, that. And I think one problem that we are facing today has come through the kind of language that we have inherited over time. Language like, words like traitors, patriots, uh, this language, this, this, this kind of words, this kind of discourse has to be questioned. I mean, during the Geneva resolution time, I mean, words like, people were like tarnished and pepe, you know, uh, um, they were, yeah, they were uh, called traitors, and then um, um, the, the, who, there seemed to be a kind of acquiescence and acceptance of these terms, and that leads to then an, uh, an acceptance of uh, anything that is kind of uh, critical of uh, any, any power of the powers that be, and that is something that we have to question as well. How are we going to uh, approach issues like human rights, the freedom to raise our voices, to talk freely, a culture of democracy, democratic, uh, a democratic way of gathering, speaking out? And this is why I think, I mean, we have come together today, at least I have come, because I think we need to put a stop to the, the kind of continuing trend of uh, particularly abductions and disappearances that are going on in this country. Uh, and this is also tied to, I would say, a militaristic mindset, both in governance and in the way we administer our structures, our, you know, civil structures. I mean, there is, people have, are talking of militarization and the, and the presence of the military in the north and the east. And there you see a visible presence of the military, which is not just because of the war and the aftermath of the war, but it's also about a, a culture of controlling society. And in the south, perhaps, it, also, it has to do with then controlling the minds through, through this fear of surveillance, not talking out, and through the fear of, you know, maybe you would be abducted. So on that note, I will stop here. Thank you. Yeah. Sumadhi Sivamohan, University of Peradaniya.